I wanted to show you exactly how you could get the most out of the Midjourney V5 model using ChatGPT4. First things first, OpenAI and ChatGPT. And we're gonna run a little comparison test. But now one of the major differences or updates with V5 is that we no longer have to string together a series of text and commas. Instead, we can speak in more of a sentence format style prompt to get the best results. And we're gonna play around with this a little bit. Okay, so this is an AI humanoid hybrid, and this is absolutely terrifying. Something about the eyes is extremely unsettling, but V5 does a really good job of capturing some of the mechanics, the wiring, and the biomechanics in this image. So I really do like that. Okay, great. So I asked ChatGPT4 to act as a mid-journey expert. Your task is to create the best mid-journey version 5 prompt using the information I provided. Do you understand? We got the got it response. I went ahead and pasted in all the information from the announcements page in Discord. Okay, great. The system's primed. Now we're going to ask it to create a prompt for a cyberpunk woman walking down the street in a neon futuristic city. Okay, we got a great prompt back. Create a vivid and detailed image of a confident cyberpunk woman dressed in a stylish and futuristic attire, walking down the bustling streets of a neon lit city. The cityscape should showcase the towering skyscrapers advanced technology, and an abundance of colorful neon signs. The atmosphere should be filled with a sense of mystery and excitement as the woman navigates her way through the mesmerizing urban landscape. Okay, and here are some of the results. Okay, let's do another one. So I said, thank you, that was great. Now do this one, an AI robot humanoid hybrid, and I did an aspect ratio of 169. It generated a really good text prompt for me, but it still had difficulty picking up on the rules of aspect ratio. I might have to play around with that a little bit more, but let's see what it gets. Once again, this was the prompt that I created, and I think it's absolutely terrifying. I'm not a huge fan of this one, but I think it's a good example of how a generic prompt can get you not the best result, so it's still a little clunky. Using ChatGPT4's prompt, this was the result, and once again, we do have one out of four that is still absolutely terrifying, but I really like this one down here in the bottom right hand corner. Let's take a look at that. And one of the things that you'll really like about version five is the ability to upscale in real time. If you're still playing around with version five, I suggest that you watch the video linked right above to learn some of the basics about aspect ratio and weighting your image. But wow, look at that. So that is the result that we got from ChatGPT4's ability to create a new mid-journey prompt with a sentence structure. And let's compare it to version five, just the prompt that I created. Let me know what you like more in the comments below. So if you're a fan of version four, you'll wanna go down to your settings bar. That'll pop up your settings menu. So you can either flip between version four or version five here. Let's go ahead and enter in that same prompt that ChatGPT4 gave us. Okay, and this is really cool. We got back some great images from version four. And once again, it has more of that artistic style, which if you really like that, version four is not going away. And you can flip back and forth between version four and version five, depending on the project you're working on. One of the nice things I have noticed with the release of version five, you can also upscale the aspect ratio. So that was something that was unexpected and I think it's producing some really good results here. And there you have it folks, there's the difference between version four and version five. So let me know what you like more in the comments below and that'll pretty much wrap it up for today. Until next time, I wish you a successful and positive day. And if you haven't had a chance already, go ahead and smash that like button. 